Dear colleagues, this is the third video in the series for the IMT implantation. The management of astigmatism is essential for the early rehabilitation of vision in patients with AMD. I perform scleral incisions in order to reduce the induced astigmatism as the incisions that we have to uh, create are very large. The outer diameter of the T-cert device is 4.8 millimeters. According to our calculations, the IMT can be inserted through 8 up to 8.5 millimeters without stretching significantly the wound. Extra care should be taken with suturing in order to control the astigmatism. Simple tools like this Placido disc can assist the surgeon to estimate the amount of astigmatism during surgery. We observe the reflection of the Myers on the corneal surface. If the Myers are round, like in this case, there is no corneal astigmatism. If the Myers are elliptical, the shorter diameter of the ellipse signifies the steeper meridian. The proportion between the short and long axis of the ellipse and the distance between the Myers can give a rough estimation of the amount of astigmatism. If there is no placido disc available, the holes in the handle of forceps can be used for the same purpose. There are of course more sophisticated devices like this keratoscope that can be mounted on a microscope. Usually I try to leave two to four diopters of astigmatism postoperatively. After two months time this will be reduced to less than two diopters. The removal of some stitches may be necessary after the sixth week. The low vision patients have high hopes from the IMT device. They are very easily disappointed and discouraged if they don't see well in the early postoperative period. This patient was very happy as he could see better than before from the third post-op day thanks to very low astigmatism. The management of astigmatism plays a significant role towards a satisfactory visual outcome in patients with AMD who will receive an IMT implant. Thank you for watching.